Why arm takeoffs? Because with the arm you can attach the teat cups much faster. Now I know that seems highly improbable because if you have never milked with an arm, your first reaction and that of your milker is always the same. That thing looks big and clumsy and it'll be difficult and awkward to work with. My friend, take my word for it. With the arm takeoff, you can attach much faster. It'll take some getting used to, but you'll be surprised. How exactly does that work? You see, if there's a no arm takeoff or no takeoff of it, take at all, your milker needs to support the claw with one hand and then he attaches the teat cups one by one with the other. With the arm takeoffs, the claw is supported by the claw weight is supported by the arm, and therefore he can use both hands to attach two teat cups at once. How does that work? Once the milker falls into a well-practiced routine, what happens is this. As he comes up on the takeoff, his arm already hits the start button, which then immediately goes to the arm, pushes it down just a little bit, probably exactly into the right height relative to the other. The arm is a claw, floats out there, and he then takes two teat cups and flips them onto the teats. The first two, and there go the second two. Now that takes a little bit of practice, but it is amazing for those milkers who make up their minds to make the best use of the arm takeoffs. It is amazing how fast they can get the teat cups onto the others. We have timed it many times. On average, they do it somewhere between 5 to 6.5 seconds. 12 units straight through. It is really a sight to see and it improves your productivity, it makes your barn terrifically efficient. A very good reason to consider arm takeoffs.